to my beloved Lord, I said, let's be friends. He replied, I keep hearing this from you, so let's try. I said, tell me the secret. I am also my own person. He said, the ones who heard were mortified. I said, show me. Let me feel it myself as well. He said, Your qualms need to be resolved by the self first. I said, What exactly is it that lies inside and that lies outside? He replied, Whatever is inside is outside. I said, Where did all this come from? Was it from a dot? He said, you shall become enlightened on the path of love. I said, Why don't you sow the seed of love in me? He said, I would have loved to have sown it, but alas, where would you be able to keep it? I said, What is this elegant enlightenment that you speak of? He said, I am accustomed to bestowing blessings. I said, you are one, one alone without a partner. He said, Indeed, that is what my style is made of. I said, Of this style, I will be wary and keep note. He said, I shall put coal, mascara, in your eyes. I said, What does putting mascara in my eyes achieve? He replied, That is how you will discern truth from lies. I said, why are you dyeing your clothes? He said, do I charge you anything for the colors? I said, why don't you charge for the colors? He replied, I'll get the money in piecemeal. I said, You've got red clothes on yourself. He said, What varied forms does yourself have? I said, 
some are ensconed, comfortably settled, while some are desolate and abandoned. He said, That is how I'm able to get my work done. I said, why don't you care about these contrasting circumstances? He said, I play with the care as well. Says Sokh Kral, there is no restraint for the compassion of God. Continue to consistently observe the greatness of God in every moment. <laughs>